Justin Hayward of the Moody Blues, a hero of mine. See, in the 60s, the Moody Blues were to mood music what the Beatles were to beat music, what the Sex Pistols were to loud music. <laughs> Why do you call yourself the Moody Blues? Actually, it was originally called the M&B Five. Uh, it was named after a brewery in the Midlands called Mitchell and & Butler's, and then it was because we were, well, the band was originally a blues band, so that's where the blues came in. And then Moody was an expression that people used to use. It didn't mean bad-tempered like in the 60s. It meant, you know, cool and a bit of a moody guy. Yeah. Do you have to be in a certain moody. mood when you're writing songs and things? Well, it, it helps. In fact, I, to, 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 I've found that a lot of the best songs I've written are when I've been depressed or, you know, say, you know, I don't know, getting over some sort of romantic kind of thing or something Ooh. like that. What mood were you in when you wrote Nights in Exactly, Whitecap? Exactly that. I was in a, um, living in a little bed sitting room in Bayswater and um, I actually wrote it as part of a whole kind of concept album. The record company didn't like it when you did No, it? they didn't because they thought it, it wasn't a typical single. It was, it was more than four minutes long. They said, oh, it's got that boring flute bit you know, in the middle and everything. <laughs> and and the, the mood, like we're talking about mood, and the mood was set by the very first word, which is nights. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we, we just call it nights in the band. Mm -hmm. and, and then the record company said, uh, you know, I'm not such a downer, you know. But, uh, <laughs> I like you a lot, you know that, but I'm still going to give you a hard time. That just uh, Okay. Like, you joined the Moody Blues in 1966. <laughs> yeah. That is nearly 25 years. Don't all you right. feel like all old and wrinkled? Daddy, you Fix you all a bit deaf. Huh? <laughs> oh, stop it. On a, Alan, on a serious note, what are you going to be doing in the next 25 years? What sort of music are you going to play then? Rock and roll. Rock and yeah, roll. I don't know how to do anything. I never had a proper job. Simple as that. I, I just want to be a moody blue. A deep grounded voice. It seems that the music reads moody. And what kind of mood isn't always that obvious? I mean, music can put you in a mood, it can change your mood, it can remind you of feeling lousy when you lost your very first girlfriend or boyfriend, the time when you had your very first kid. You got not to baby, if you want to impress me. You can't be too clever, mama, I know.